Y'all, these sugar cookie cheesecake bites are guaranteed to keep you on track on your low-carb journey. They are the perfect little sweet treat when you're feeling super naughty. In a large bowl, I'm creaming together my sweetener and my butter with a hand mixer just until it's nice and creamy. Then I'm adding in one egg and one egg yolk and I'm gonna beat it until it's evenly combined. Next, I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla and continue to mix. And try not to overbeat this mixture, you just want everything to be evenly incorporated. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is almond flour, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. So now I'm gonna grab a spatula and just fold everything in together and then add in some sugar-free sprinkles. You can add as much as you want. I'm using some sugar-free sprinkles that I got off Amazon. Now once everything's mixed together, we're gonna half our cookie dough. We're gonna use one half for the bottom layer of our cheesecake bites. I'm just using my hand to just mash them down and I'm gonna bake this in the oven at 325 for about 15 minutes. And while it's baking, I'm starting on my cheesecake filling, which is just some cream cheese, powdered sweetener, a little bit of vanilla extract, one egg, and some heavy cream. Once you've taken your cookie layer out of the oven, let it cool a little bit before you add your cheesecake filling. Then we're going to use the other half of our cookie dough, break it off into little pieces, and top it all over our cheesecake bites. Now for our final bake, we're going to bake it at 325 for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. If you notice that your cookie is getting just a little bit brown on top, you can definitely add some aluminum foil to help with that. I like to chill mine in the fridge for at least four hours before I cut them into squares. And I'll be honest, y'all, this was a little lacking in color. I mean, when I think sugar cookie, I need like a pop of color. So I made a cream cheese drizzle and added some more sprinkles. And y'all, this was so, so good.